And right when I when I saw that, I had seen a video, and I'm not going to mention names because I'm I'm not here to to you yeah. know expose names or whatever. That's not my heart. But what I saw in the video was uh, a message being preached, and it was called the relationship between money and peace. And he said, "Quote." You think you've come here for joy, peace, in the Holy Ghost, but I tell you what you need is money. I'm serious. And I, I was, I was, and it wasn't, you know, like somebody blurped it in there. I heard it. And I thought, God, the deception. Because my Bible doesn't tell me that peace is found in money, or riches, or anything worldly. My peace Hallelujah. is found in Jesus Christ. That's he is right. my peace. Yeah. Amen? Yes. 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 Peace, peace in anything. Yes. Whatever, yes. not just riches. Put that yeah. aside. Yeah. But if, you, if you're establishing peace in your home, mm -hmm. in the things in your home, mm -hmm. shopping, whatever the case may be, that's idolatry. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And you know, I know God has dealt with my heart because I don't believe he could have had yeah. me preach on this. Because... There was a time, and, and I, I have to honestly say, I'm not saying this, you know, I'm saying it to the best of my knowledge that I know God has, has revealed my heart, but I can't say I really had a problem with coveting. There were things if I didn't have something, like when I wanted a house, yeah. you know, God dealt with me in that whole thing, and, and I won't get into that. Some of you know that story, and that's how we ended up here. And for me, the first week we got this house, I just said, God, it's yours, take it. Yeah. If you want us to sell it, if you want to use it, I don't care. Yeah. And and it's okay to have nice things. It's yeah. okay to have, yeah. wear nice clothes. But it's if they are a requirement mm -hmm. or if they are something that gives you peace and joy and makes yeah. you feel good. God wants us to be. The Bible says, and I'm not sure where it is, He has given us all things to enjoy. Yes. But He's not given us those things to idolize. Right. Because God is a holy God and He will deal with the hearts that have idols in them. Okay? That's right. So it's all about the trust. It is. The, this young man, this rich young man, he established a peace in his riches. And that was what God revealed because he had the sin of covetousness, the sin of idolatry. So what is God saying? As I said, the church has found peace in riches and things, and they will fade. James 1.11 says that rich men will fade away in their ways. There's very, like, that's why I have to redo these notes. There was, we'd be here all, all week. But there was so, because I kind of like, I dissect and then I have, you know, yeah. things. So you, I mean, you can just get the scriptures and read them. But there is so much in the Bible saying, encouraging us not to be rich. That's right. That's my Bible. I got a King James and I, I don't know what I'm misreading. But we're not encouraged mm -hmm. to seek wealth. We're not encouraged to seek the things that's of this right. life. Yeah. We're not of this world. Hallelujah. Let's try and go to Proverbs eleven twenty eight. You know, it's it's okay for God to expose our hearts. I love it. I yes. say, God, yes. me too. Show me, show me Try what's hindering, you know, me yeah. from becoming all I can be for you, Lord. Mm -hmm. All I can be for you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Proverbs eleven. Verses twenty verse twenty eight. He that trusteth in his riches shall fall, but the righteous shall flourish as a branch. Amen. Go to Proverbs 23, verse 4 and 5. Starting at verse 1. When thou sittest to eat with a ruler or a steward, <laughs> consider diligently what is before thee. So if you're turning on your TV... And you're going to sit and watch. Consider what's before you. Yeah. Consider. This is what came to me. Put a knife to thy throat. If thou be a man given to his appetite. <laughs> be not desirous of, of his dainties. For they are deceitful meat. The word deceitful is the word idle. And now, hear my heart again. Don't leave here and stay. I'm telling you not to watch. There's very, there's very good teachers. And I'm not saying a lot of them are teaching all wrong. It's, yeah. there, there's an unbalance. Yeah. And that's the, God wants to bring into balance those yeah. things. Yeah. Okay? Will thou set thy eyes upon that? Oh, no, sorry, verse 4. Labor not to be rich. Cease from thy own wisdom. 
Will thou not, will thou set thy eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. I love that. I love that scripture. I mean, to me, it's, it's like it's important that we we um, scan what we're listening to. Yeah. What I'm teaching here, go home and study it out. Don't believe everything. I mean, if 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 you have to believe everything that's coming into your, your ear gate, you're not dissecting the word or you know studying to show yourself approved. Then there's a problem. You will be deceived. I'll tell you right now. You will be deceived. Go to First Timothy six. making sense? Absolutely. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. First Timothy 6, starting at verse 3. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine, again, there we go, which is according to godliness, there's only one doctrine that we should listen to, and that's the doctrine according to godliness. All through the, the, the epistles, we're told to, to put on the new man, put off the old man, fornication, lying, cheating. That's the, that is the gospel to godliness. It's not about self on, on this earth and, and how we can consume things to, to just be comfortable. We can't, I'm not saying that God don't want us to again, right? But it's about godliness. According to godliness, he is proud, not knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strives of words. Whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth. Supposing that gain is godliness. From such withdraw thyself. But godliness with contempt is great gain. Godliness is holiness. Holiness unto the Lord. Purity unto the Lord. For we brought nothing into this world. And it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be therefore content. But they that will be rich will fall into temptation and a snare and 